Wait, you're asking me to give you criticism? Okay, firstly, talking about an attention whore, and secondly, you have not even watched my videos, haven't you? But then again, if you want it, then you're gonna get it. Hello everyone and welcome to another commentary. Tonight we'll be taking a look at an I microcast. Now I mostly know about him from the Armored Cats videos in which he basically said that I Michael was a ripoff of I Carly. Because, you know, he did an I Michael show. Now, I Michael decided to turn away from that show, or I think he did, and then move on to commentaries. How are they, do you ask? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to be looking at one of them today. What we're going to be looking at is his commentary on the infamous Guptail89. Yo oh boy. This is going to be enjoyable. Hey guys, it's time for yet another commentary. This commentary is going to be on one of the Ranch Erect videos made by Guptail89, or as we might call him, Gupfail. Or Gupfail89. It wasn't funny the first time, and it certainly wasn't funny the second time. Whatever. He ranted on how we do our spelling stuff on the internet. The video was agitating, and if it hasn't received a commentary, now is the time for it to do so. It's time to fulfill my purpose. Anyway, let's start. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Please step back now. Oh, so I thought you were going to say something, because, you know, this is technically a commentary, and, you know, you could have said something about that, you know, just, just saying. I know I'm not the only person who thinks about this. We've gone through a whole bunch of spelling and English classes through the years, starting at first grade, all the way up to your senior year in high school. Don't judge other people. There are people on YouTube who have not graduated high school yet. Um, kid, all Guptail said was that we learned how to use proper English grammar from kids all the way to when we graduate and get a job. What is this idea of him judging people? Where did you pull that out of? From your ass? But do we really need to see a lot of misspellings and punctuation errors on the internet, especially when you consider most of the people doing the writing have had a decent education? Of course not! Some people are in a rush to comment and they don't feel like spelling every word out completely. Well, there are many reasons why we use text speech. One reason is on sites like YouTube, we're only given a limited amount of characters, and so that we use text speech to try and stay within the limit of the characters. And really, the reason of people are in a rush, I actually don't agree with, because um, if they were in a rush, then they wouldn't really take the time to text up and out, they would just leave it until later. That's why I feel like going against it today. I started checking out the internet sometime in 2001. Wow, you must be old. Wait, hang on. How is he old just because he checked out the internet in 2001? I started knowing about the internet about 2005, and I'm 19. So you do the math, kid, if you can. Within a year later, I had come to notice some of the weird ways of typing in what you're trying to say. Lowercase i's to mean yourself, the letters PLZ to shorten the word please, and so on. Most of what I see are no periods, commas, or apostrophes included. One little period or exclamation point is going to make such a big deal on what the person was trying to say? Of course not! Oh yeah, I won't sound like a total idiot if I type up my comments like this. 
Not to mention that most people don't spell check their comments, messages, and email letters before posting or sending them. These things have climbed to the point where I cannot take it anymore. Mind grade, mind grade. It's giving him a mind grade, mind grade. People start using capital letters at the start of sentences, commas to... Well, you get the idea. How about no? Okay, first... That's not funny! Second, are you saying that we shouldn't really use proper English grammar when we post comments? Because that's making you sound like a proper fucking idiot. Oh wait, you are a proper fucking idiot. But honestly, why does neatness in writing have to be obsolete? If this junk continues up to the year 2010, I'll still be annoyed as I am right now. Not to mention that it's currently the year 2009, well, it's currently 2011, so you must be even more annoyed than you were before! Wait, so this video was made in 2009, and you're making this commentary in 2011, which is a two-year gap? Basically what you're doing is beating a dead horse with half the body already rotted away. Also, you're the one that's saying that Gupta's annoying? At least it's the one that's coming up with good points. You're the one that's pulling stuff out of your ass and hoping that it works, and in most cases, it doesn't! And mankind still doesn't understand that spelling like this is frustrating and confusing. Now, I know that when I post a video with commentary on the internet, I'm not only speaking to my fellow Americans, but the entire world. However, this video is pointed towards English speakers. I love to watch rugby. Someone get me gravy. God save the tea. <laughs> I just had to. If you know how to write and speak fluent English, do so for crying out loud. Writing in a very sloppy way does not help a thing. Final thoughts. You shouldn't tell people what to do. It's their own lives, and they can write or talk however they want to. Of course, if people want to write and talk like total fucking idiots, then they have the right to be total fucking idiots. Like you! In America, we have freedom of speech. Okay, let me state something here. Now, I'm a fan fiction writer who posts his fan fictions on DeviantArt. Now, when people come onto my stories, and they read through it, if they notice any grammar errors, I would like them to come down to the comic section and actually tell me about it. Just say, well, this is spelt wrong, this is worded wrong, this doesn't make much sense, you need to rearrange it to make more sense. I actually like them to do that because it helps me develop as a writer. Christ, even in my own comments, if I see I've misspelled something, I try and find a way to correct it. If you misspell something on accident, then that's perfectly fine. Accidents do happen. But if you misspell something and just say, Oh, it was my freedom of speech to do so, then excuse me for saying back to you, Well, you're a total fucking moron. How in the hell has freedom of speech got to do with the way we spell? If you use the argument, it was my freedom of speech to misspell something, then you are sounding like a total fucking idiot. But wait, this is a commentary made by I, Michael. I guess it speaks for itself. After watching your video, I believe that I should add you to my list of hypocrites on YouTube. When in the fucking hell did Guptail89 go against his own argument? However, whilst we're on the subject of hypocrisy, let's talk about a user known as Kirby MSC. Now, to my knowledge, he once said that he was going to ignore all his trolls and haters. But the next day, he completely made a video going on about trolls and haters, which was going against his own argument, which made him a hypocrite. But you're defending him because he's your friend. So, you're calling someone a hypocrite, but yet you're defending a hypocrite which makes you a hypocrite yourself. Looks like the worm has turned. Gentlemen. Anyway, that's it for this commentary. Thank God for that. Conclusion, this commentary was awful. You basically pulled everything out of your ass and hoped that it would work. And in this case, it 
didn't. And then you use the argument of it's our freedom to speech to spell whatever we want, however we want. Well, if you use that to cover up your mistakes and errors, then you sound like a total fucking idiot. And then you bring up the word of hypocrisy when he didn't go against his own argument. My goodness, if you make Guptel sound like Albert Einstein, then you know that you have failed. And with that being said... I'm signing out and I'm out of here. Peace, all. Oh, one last thing. I better put this joke in before everyone kills me for not putting it in. Because poor literacy is cool.